Hello, I'm Torquil. I'm in a band called Stars, which you've probably never heard of. You're watching Rhapsody TV. It's called The Five Ghosts. It's 11 songs on it. It's about ghosts and what it's like to be a ghost. Um, it's dance music for when uh, you want to dance after something sad happens to you. And um, I think it's pretty beautiful. First gig together as stars. Well, the first gig I think me and Evan and Amy and Chris played together because we played a couple of shows with Jimmy and Emily from Metric before they were Metric. They were sort of our band. Uh, was in Fez in New York City, I believe. It wasn't particularly good, as I recall. That was back in the day when, like, you think I talk a lot now? You should have seen me back then in between every song. I'd be like, okay, this next song, the first verse has several references to chapter seven of George Eliot's Mill on the Floss. It was really painful to get through the gig. But we hung in there and we were, we were opening for Louis Philippe, who's an incredible musician from England. If you don't know Louis Philippe, go find his music. He's amazing. One song I wish I had written is certainly Waterloo Sunset by the Kinks. If I'd done that, I could just drink myself to death in sheer happiness. I'd be an actor, I guess, because that's the other thing. I've, there's, there's only a limited number of things I'm capable of doing. There's two things I'm capable of doing, which is this and that. And I also hand out flyers. I've done that several times in my life. So either handing out flyers or be, being an actor would be what I was doing. Hopefully I would just be supported by my wife. And I think we're working on it. She's getting there. She's a good earner. I'm gonna be able to quit soon. Hey guys, if I was to write a memoir about the band, what would the title be? It's not a question of Lansing. <laughs> yep, it's not a question of Lansing. L-A-N-C-I-N-G. Sometimes, just because you have a lump, doesn't mean you can just lance it. Sometimes that lump is far more serious. Yes, it's not a question of lancing. Five young people's journey from Milan to Minsk. <laughs> I think Tracy Ullman's cover of They Don't Know About Love, the Kirsty McCall song. You know that song? They say I'm crazy, but I just don't care. And if I keep on talking, still I get nowhere. No, I don't. Um, that one comes to mind. What else comes to mind? Um, Careless Whisper. Uh, heaven knows I'm miserable now. And then we just get into that period where the only thing I thought about or did was listen to the Smiths and everything reminds me of them because that's all I did all day every day for f 10 years <laughs> so that was quite a time uh, the immediate arrest of its leaders and the imprisonment of all arms dealers and the complete decimation of all armies and uh, all the rich people should have all their possessions taken away from them and it should all be given to other people. That would make the world a better place. <laughs> and if the rich people think it wouldn't make it better for them, they're dreaming, because that's why they're all stuffing Vicodin up their noses as fast as they can chew them, because they're stressed out. Give us your money, man. You got too much. It's, you need, what, 200 Gs is sweet. After that, hand it over, Rover. Don't you think? Yeah. World socialism. That would make the world a better place. World government, world socialism, world pacifism, world vegetarianism, world peace, arrest the fat white men, including me.